Hello and welcome to Stock Advisor. Today we'll talk about PR primary resources and we finished at 2.25 plus. So the question is where it's going to go and uh, let's recognize the current uh, pattern. Of course, you can see a uh, clear upwards channel here taking place, but the question is, is it really going to uh, continue like that or we are actually at some breaking point? Well, you immediately see that the channel was broken and it looked like a very positive momentum, but uh, what worries here a little bit is the fact that today we started much lower than we finished uh, yesterday uh, in the previous trading session. You see here is this clear uh, distance gap. And this situation is usually, uh, also we observed it before, means that this wave is kind of a bull trap. It might still spike a little bit higher, but uh, most probably what we are going to observe here is actually uh, a kind of reconfirmation of the of the upwards trend. So it will be uh, expected for a few days, maybe till the end of the week, a descending action in this case, uh, with some small spikes, still might be kind of a bull trap. Then we need to go lower. And the very first level where it would be really wise to buy would be anything below uh, moving average 50. So this green line and uh, higher than moving average uh, 200, the red line. So something uh, in this case would be in the level of uh, 11.30. So uh, this might be actually the entry opportunity for rebounds play. Then we will see if it would really continue it upwards trend. Uh, then the main fight will be taking place at these levels of today. It's about 13.50. Uh, if it will pierce further, then uh, of course we might expect um, further action. But if it will not, then uh, actually what we uh, might see here is a rebound. So what might be happening if you will be buying here, I would say put a stop loss after we uh, go to the level above 13, put a stop loss somewhere at these levels because this is clear. Once we pierce it higher, this will become uh, anything higher than, than this level. Actually, it will become a clear uh, point of a decision and after this price rebounds if we go higher than the current level so if we go higher okay the growth might continue but what also might be happening we will be bouncing downwards and then it would mean that we are actually forming a resist level and if this would be the case then we need to understand that uh, we are going to form a very long uh, trending negative uh, channel why I think so as well that it's possible because the upwards move already was quite long and we already once pierced moving average 200 in this section in July. This means so here and the same situation took place here. So it's a double test of uh, moving average 200. Usually when it happens first time, uh, the price action would be like this, then false rebounds and real negative formation. So on a longer term, this is um, not the stock to play, but at this first entry that we discussed, it might be very interesting to play on this. Uh, also, of other parameters indicating that it's actually cooling down, it's uh, MACD, the second wave. Here you can see, usually it means that after that we should have some negative action. Uh, similarly to what we observed here, the second wave, or um, here, of course, it might give a third wave as in this case, but price-wise, this was um, double uh, bottom, but in this case, it will be actually second time uh, testing moving average 200, which is usually not the good case. It's a classical indication of formation of negative channel. So short term, we might play here. Longer term, I would wait for negative channel formation and then we might uh, play in this one, but we need to wait for that. So maybe it will take up to a month to form this channel. With this being said, that's all for PR. So uh, might be interesting for short term, maybe next one, two weeks, but longer term, we need to uh, wait. The negative channel formation might be possible. With this being said, that's all in this episode. If you like it, don't forget to um, like, subscribe to our channel and see you at another episode of Stocks Advisor.